Welcome back everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, coming at y'all today with another top five of my favorite, and this, this category was a difficult one for me to put together because it's all about sniper rifles. What are my top five favorite sniper rifles? <sighs> Starting off with number five, pretty much the one that just kind of like, it was actually in competition with another one, Well, I'll talk about it in a moment. But anyways, the Remington 700, or better yet, the M40. The M40, based off of the Remington 700 bolt-action rifle, chambered in 308. We saw that guy pretty much for a while prior to actually military use. So just a basic, simple bolt-action gun that worked. Now, the other one that was on my list that didn't quite make it, is the Winchester Model 70. I think that's the one that Alec talked about before. And the only reason it didn't make it to my list is because I actually have more familiarization, more trigger time on an M40 than I do on a Model 70, which we all know too is the famed rifle that was used by Carlos Hathcock, you know, White Feather. If you don't know who he is, probably not a Marine, but anyway, that's fine. So the Remington 700 or the M40 is just an awesome all around lightweight rifle that's still in use today. The United States Army has adopted it as the M24, I think in the 80s. But anyway, so it's still in use today under the, uh, I think in 2016, the United States were fielding an A6, A7 model at that point. So yeah, there's all, there's all sorts of them out there. But anyway, that's my number five. Let's go ahead and roll on to number four. My number four might surprise you guys. Ugh, the Barrett M82. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason it's uh, so far low on my list is because I don't really look at it as a precision type rifle, right? But I do like the fact that it is semi-auto, I like the fact that it's a 50 cal, and I like its overall service. The M82 is just a fantastic rifle, but it is big, it's bulky, it's heavy, coming in at over 30 pounds unloaded and without an optic. So as you can imagine, try to carry this around any type of battlefield or hunting would be nuts. But it is done. It's being done today as we speak. So the M82 is just a fantastic rifle. It's also our current giveaway. So if you're you know, wanting to win this guy at no purchase necessary to you, head on over to classicfirearms.com and get signed up to win this guy. Because why not? We'll have more of a plug about the giveaway and how to get your entries later. But for my number four pick, Ronnie Barrett started off his company with the M82, the M82A1, which what you see here pretty much is an updated version of that. So the original M82 had a integrated carry handle, one that wasn't able to be disconnected. This will mount to any Picatinny rail space. So even if you have your AR-15 that gets too heavy for you, you can throw it on there and try to make, make pretend it's an FAL. But uh, anyway, it also does have the detachable bipod on it, a upgraded muzzle brake, two chamber brake right up front here, and overall just an awesome gun. Full length Picatinny rail, the M82 is just sweet. And so is the EOTech Voodoo, which we'll talk about later. Let's head on over to my number three. Before I start talking about my number three pick, for all of our new viewers out there, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and we appreciate the support here, the view, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Greatly appreciate it again. For, for those of you that don't know, here at Classic Firearms, we offer and are happy to offer all of your Second Amendment wants, joys, needs, anything you could ever ask for, firearms, ammunition, accessories, optics, free guns, you've come to the right place. So make sure you're headed over to classicfirearms.com to take a look at all of our offerings, including, again, the free guns, like the one I was talking about just a moment ago, and we'll show off a little bit later. But let's go ahead and talk about my number three choice. My number three choice is the only one on the list that I don't have any actually personal experience with, but because of the reputation that it's held, I figured I need to at least throw it up here. It is the Macmillan TAC-50. This guy right here, right now, is holding the world's longest kill shot in Iraq. At over 3,540 meters, this thing here made contact with the enemy and one last bad guy to worry about. How about that, all right? Canadian Special Forces is uh, unnamed exactly who got the shot, but anyway, fantastic rifle. After doing all the research and looking at everybody else's testimonials that have actually shot the thing, it is pretty sweet. So. It would be a little bit higher up on my list, I'm sure, if I pulled the trigger on it and, you know, actually got it out the distance, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that. So, TAC-50, number three. Number two, this one I have had some trigger time on. My number two, the FN Ballista. Now, this one right here is actually in competition 
for the number two spot with the MRAD by Barrett. The reason I went with this one here is because, again, this is my personal list. You guys can disagree all you want to, and I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comment section, is because this is the one that I've actually been able to shoot some. The MRAD I haven't had a whole lot of trigger time on. And this one specifically is chambered in 338 Lapua, which is a fantastic cartridge. Really enjoy that. And we've got it on here with the EOTech Voodoo as well. And I gotta tell y'all, shooting this guy and its modularity is super cool. Now, uh, from my understanding, FN did submit this as pretty much the new military sniper gun, you know, sniper rifle, but it does look like it was beat out by the MRAD. So I might actually have to go uh, take that MRAD out, you know, for some distance and actually give it a shot. But I can tell you that shooting this guy is an absolute pleasure. First off, it is completely modular, switching out calibers and things like that, very easy. And that is something that is becoming a little bit more requested of military weaponry, is something that is modular. You can switch out calibers, you can switch out barrel lengths, grips, and everything else that you could ever ask for, right? So pretty cool. Like I said, this one is in 338 Lapua, but this does have the conversion kit, so that way if you wanna save your 338 ammo, you can shoot some 308 in it. You know, the stuff that's a whole lot more affordable compared to 338, you can do that, all right? Long Picatinny rail running the length of the receiver or the rail and the receiver. It is free floated, which is very nice. And of course, like I said, you can take it apart, you know, all that type of fun stuff. Um, maintenance on it, super easy as well. I mean, this gun just all around, it's just a nice gun. And it's lightweight for what it is as well, which I like. It does have a precision stock on it that is side folding, so that way for all your concealed carry needs, you can fo fold this guy over and it makes it a little bit easier to travel with. That's a joke, being concealed carry, nobody's gonna do that. But uh, anyway, you hit that and it comes on over and you are all ready to go. Now to get it back, there's just a button here that you press, there it is fold on over and you're ready to go. Does have your adjustable comb height and also your length of pull. So, and, and even uh, the, the actual plate on it rotates. So again, it's a super comfortable, very modular and customizable. You can make it pretty much however you want. And like I said, we've got the EOTech Voodoo on here. I really am liking these scopes a lot. Uh, same one that we've had um, on a couple of giveaways now and just, I really like it. And the AccuTac bipod, you can't go wrong with AccuTac. If you're gonna have a beast like this, you're gonna have a beast of a bipod. So check out AccuTac, all right? But anyway, 338 Lapua, fantastic at long ranges and I would 100% recommend anybody going out there and having some fun with the FN Ballista. Again, if you're ever at Take Aim Training and Range and see us out there shooting, you never know. Maybe I'll have this out there because I feel like going just a few hundred yards. A few hundred yards for this guy is nothing, by the way. Out there at Take Aim, you can get out to about 450, 480 yards, I want to say. And uh, that's, that's an easy day for this gun, speaking from experience. So there we go. Now, with all that being said, drum roll as we go ahead and start moving into our number one position. My number one. My number one is going to be every COD player's favorite to do their 360 no scope with. It is the Shytac M200 Intervention. Unlike a lot of the COD tubers out there though, COD players, COD whatever no scopers that you are, I've actually been able to shoot one of these at about a mile range and they are fantastic. The 408 Shytac cartridge is phenomenal. Also the Shytac M200 Intervention does hold a world record as of the moment for the uh, three hits on target within 16.6 .6 inches at over 2300 yards. So if you can imagine that is pretty impressive. And it is a big, bulky guy, that is for sure. The carry handle for the thing is actually underneath the gun, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so don't drop it or else you'll probably break your optic because the thing weighs 31 pounds unloaded and without an optic. That's more than the Barrett by a pound. <laughs> and it is a bolt action gun. So it is a big, heavy guy. But having the pleasure of actually shooting this guy at distance, again, a mile range uh, a while back, it's not that bad recoiling and I, again, I've been mentioning a lot, 100% would recommend this or 10 out of 10 would recommend that. And that's because a lot of what I'm talking to you guys through personal experience, I would absolutely recommend. I'm not gonna steer you the wrong way, all right? So one of the things I'd recommend is distance shooting. Getting out there, practicing those fundamentals, it all really comes down to, down to the bare shooting on the exhale, slow, steady squeeze, those bare fundamentals when it comes to distance because the slightest interruption will send your bullet way off course, all right? So it's really cool whenever we're shooting at those distances, you could take the shot, 
realign your scope, because there is a little bit of recoil, see your target and see impact, you know, after like three or four seconds of flight time. So it's pretty cool to see all of that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, all right? But the Shytac, like I said, big boy for sure. And I think we actually have some footage of us shooting it. Guys, pretty sweet with the M200 intervention. Shy Tech. Let's see if I can hit a mile range target. Ready? Ready. So yeah, overall, just a great rifle. Shy Tech M200 intervention fantastic stuff all right so that is my top five sniper rifles list and again through personal experience except for the tac 50 maybe one day i'll be able to get out there and you know shoot at some targets with a tac 50 i don't know it'd be a lot of fun but anyway again anytime you're at take aim training and range if you want to go ahead and you know come say hey and shoot a 50 cal feel free to do so do so and speaking of 50 cals let me go ahead and get our current giveaway back up here on the table there we go this right here, the Barrett M82. I've talked about it a lot and a lot in recent uh, videos. And uh, so most of you guys probably already know way too much about this gun. But again, short recoil, recoil operation, magazine fed, semi-auto 50 BMG. I mean, that's just, that's just really cool. How, I mean, you can't go wrong with that, all right? And when you think about it, there wasn't anything else like this at that point in time of which it was made in the early 80s, M82 when it was finally produced, see there? But uh, anyway, to so have something that's a semi-auto 50 cal is just a lot of fun. And we've teamed up with Kentucky Ballistics on this, so you might want to go check out their video announcing this as our giveaway because it's a, it's a good time, all right? Again, 29-inch barrel you're getting with this one here. They do make a model with the 20-inch. Uh, but like I said, we're getting the 29 inch on this guy. We do have the EOTech Voodoo, like I was just showing off on the Ballista. The EOTech Voodoo, just a great optic, super clear, first focal plane, love it. Three and a half power to 18 power, so definitely a lot of magnification out there if you do want to run this guy on some distance, because why the heck not, all right? A lot of cool history with the M82 and its service around the world as well, so just go do that research, because you'll be impressed. And uh, yeah, unless you're, the British, you know, in Belfast or something. But anyway, so we'll leave it at that. And uh, make sure you head on over to classicfirearms.com to get your entries for this guy. Like I said before, we like to give away a lot of free guns, and that's no lie, especially free expensive ones like this guy here. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. I'll see you down in the comments section. What are your top five lists when it comes to sniper variants? I'd be curious to hear from y'all. Before I go though, I do wanna mention one last, one last gun that just as a uh, honorable mention, the Mosin Nagant. The Mosin Nagant is a fantastic rifle that's been around for a long time. And there was the Finnish sniper, Simahaya, that got 500 kills during the Winter War within 100 days with his Mosin. No optics, no nothing like that. Just iron sights and one heck of a bad attitude when it came to the Russians. So, hey, there you go, all right? That guy also lived to be like 96 years old, died in the early 2000s after being born in 1905. So, pretty crazy stuff. And yeah, he actually got shot in the face and lost like part of his jaw and he still lived that long. So, dude is a total legend. And uh, yeah, Mosin Nagant. It's, it's on the list. If, if you don't own one, I feel, like, I feel like you should. I feel like every 18-year-old, when they first start buying guns, it's a pump-action shotgun and a Mosin a gun. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. Guys, I'll see you all later. God bless you, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.